What is up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Tactical Pineapples Garage and today I got something good for you and yes, we're actually in the garage. It's amazing, isn't it? Anyways, so I know I've been talking about the holsters for a little while. Uh, this is actually the video where I introduce you to the handiwork that is the fucking holster. We're going to run that fucking intro and when we get back on the other side, we're going to get into it. Alright, so the holster, how does it show up, right? First and foremost, I want to show you, very nondescript packaging. I'm going to do my best not to show my fucking address again. Uh, that's pretty much how it shows up. Simple white label, nothing that says, hey, I'm a fucking holster, uh, fuck with this guy. So, once you open up that package, uh, you're going to find inside the package a very nice neat cellophane package. Now, I have two of these because I had two holsters in this. Um, this one is currently unopened. It is going to be opened as of this video. So, a little bit of paper packing to make sure things don't move around. Um, but then it's packaged really nicely in one of these little plastic cellophane containers. Um, comes exactly like this. So, uh, don't... If you see any videos where these are released with hardware, I am going to send a few out with hardware just because I know what they're going to be mounting to. Um, and it's mostly because they're going to help me with promotion. And I know I'm sorry. I'm making a lot of crinkling noise. Uh, opening that package up, what you're going to find inside is one hell of a quality fucking holster. Uh, I know, right, um, take it from this guy. He's trying to sell these. Of course they're quality. Um, I did a lot of work to try and find a holster company that I could trust and I could work with. And this is the first one that I've actually got the finished product in my hand and said, you know what, this is the guy. So these are being made in conjunction, if you don't already know, with Desert Concealment and Design, um, kind of known as the Canic Whisperer of holsters, but does a lot more. And uh, I will say he did a bang up job on these. So this particular holster is for the G2C. It is in carbon fiber with chrome accents. Um, you will see all of the edges are very nicely finished. There's no sharp edges that are going to dig on anything. Um, and it, it is just, it's got a beautiful finish on it. Uh, Jake does incredible work, and for that I thank you, Jake. But onto the bits and bobs of this badass. Um, what you see in front of you is obviously not meant for concealed carry. Now, if you are a competition guy, you're going to arrange you have a Safari Land leg holster or something like that. This will be very familiar with you. You are very familiar with this system. This is a QLS system. Um, some people call it an ELS, but it is the Safari Land uh, male female adapter. Now this is going to come with a flush mount receiver plate. Uh, in the instructions, it will tell you, we recommend at minimum you use three holes when mounting this. Um, there's reasons for that. Um, once you use a third hole, you eliminate pretty much all access and movement, and that pretty much guarantees it's not going to go anywhere as far as retention is concerned. So, obviously, that means the male end is on the holster. So, this mounts to whatever the fuck you want it to mount to. In my particular case, the original reason I wanted this design was to mount inside of hard saddlebags because Etiquette means that sometimes you have to remove your firearm and yes, store it in your vehicle. I know your vehicle is not a safe. Um, where you're doing it, you don't have to worry. Trust me. Um, that being said, this means it is a quick release system. You get the full snap, the pinch and release. And that means if you have a Canic, or in this case, a G3C, um, you can swap it out if you decide to upgrade to a real carry gun. I know, I'm not trying to cut any, I'm just giving you shit. Um, and go with something like the P365. Instantly, you can swap it out, change it out, do whatever you want. This comes in handy for multiple purposes. Number one, truck gun, right? Maybe you upgraded your truck gun. Maybe you wanna switch out. Maybe you take your concealed carry, or even for that matter, open carry off of your belt and you put it into your vehicle and you want it to mount very nicely. Perfect option. 
get that retaining plate. I know, right? You can get the retaining plate anywhere, right? But you can't get this quality of fucking holster. Now, this here is for the 365. It is in just straight black, has dark red accents. I like my holsters that way. That's the way this one came for me. These are customizable on your order form. We will have that form uh, available at tacticalpineapple.com very soon, probably by the time this video releases, actually. But you will see all the information you need all the information you need to order and at least get things started. So, all right, so that's the holster in itself. Um, obviously, you can change this if you really feel like it. Um, it. It has a standard T adapter plate. All the holes are punched out. You can change the angle if you so feel like. Now, uh, before we go any further, YouTube, this is cleared. There's nothing in the chamber. You can see down it, nothing there, nothing there. We have an empty magazine. We are fully cleared and ready for fucking takeoff. So, what do we have? We have a holster. I want you to keep in mind, I did not tell Jake this holster was meant for a gun that had a threaded barrel. I had to modify it. But that being said, it's 100% my fault, not his. Um, just information I failed to give him. Um, with literally just a heat gun, a little bit of time, and I don't recommend anybody do this on your own unless you have experience working with Kydex, but I was able to accommodate my threaded barrel. Now, obviously, this is not actually fully retained, and it sits in there very well. No, I'm not pinching it together. Um, it begins to retain itself long before you actually hit the retention points. That said, you hear that? This is not going anywhere. This gun will not move. My titties will jump up and down. It is good. Short of a fucking high side on a motorcycle, I can almost guarantee this will never pop out on its own. Just not going to happen. This tile retention is going to be noticed right here on the trigger guard itself. Molded very tightly everywhere else. And if you do need to... These are rubber grommets. One thing people fail to realize is oftentimes you have to actually tension these. They're not necessarily perfect every single time. You can tighten these down and increase the tension. You can loosen them up and decrease it. That said, Jake had these set up perfectly. Yeah, now, to get into the bits and the bobs of everything, um, gun fits absolutely amazingly. Um, you can hear it. Like I said, you get that snap. Maybe not that time. No, I didn't get it in there. Um, you have to push it in. It is not meant to be a, a belt gun, essentially. These are meant to retain your pistol while you're going down the road at 100 miles an hour inside of a motorcycle saddlebag. That means retention was the most important feature, and Jake hit that fucking thing out of the goddamn park. But it's also why we didn't do what every other gun saddlebag holster manufacturer does and mount off of the quick, quick release nuts that are inside of saddlebags. You do have to drill out the back. Uh, we are not sending hardware because every individual person may decide to put it in a different location. They're going to need different hardware. You can put it into a wall. You might need drywall screws. You might need anchors. Um, you might put self-tapping screws and sheet metal and put this inside of a fucking toolbox. I don't know. Mount it to the side of a tractor, underneath your dash, wherever you want to mount it. It's going to hold. Promise, 100% guaranteed. That being said, um, I want to show it to you on the bike. So we're going to get into it. All right. Back side of the camera. You can obviously see how I'm mounted in here. Right? Um, the mounting instructions are going to be on the website. At the bottom, it's a PDF. Uh, I may put a link to it here in the description just so you all can see. They're meant for this saddlebag in particular. Every single bit of instructions are gonna be different. All that being said, this is it. Quick mount system. Here you go. Two prongs. You put it in, you get it all actually lined up. I'm trying to do this on camera. It's gonna be a pain in the ass. There we go. And it's in. All right. Hopefully that wasn't too shaky. I apologize. I'm new to this style video. Um, but here we go. So we are mounted in that saddlebag. There's obviously just a little bit of movement. It is plastic, right? Um, there's gonna be a little bit of that. 
You can take that up if you put a little rubber gasket in there if you plan on it being permanent. I like the option of quick change. So, wrong hand, pull it out. You can get the whole picture. Here it is, inside of the saddlebag. Never mind the garbage. That's actually just nets and stuff like that that I use for tying things down. Um, but it is there, and it is not going fucking anywhere. So, final thoughts, right? Um, obviously, I love the holster. I wouldn't be bringing it to you if I didn't think it was a fucking knockout winner. That being said, uh, we are going to start listing the price $89.95. I know, a lot, right? Well, QLS systems, 30 bucks, custom Kydex work. Jake gets paid for his time. Um, we are going to do, initially, during our soft release here, a bit of a coupon code that'll be in the description. Until it is gone, I will remove and edit the description. For those of you who missed out on it, keep an eye out. There are going to be other individuals that are going to get holsters, specifically this one. You will see it in another video, I almost fucking guarantee it, from another individual if you're looking for it. An actual review from a customer who, no, he didn't pay for it, but no, he doesn't have any ties to anything. He doesn't have to like me, he doesn't have to like this. It is somebody I know in the industry of YouTube who's also very much into motorcycles and very familiar with carrying on a fucking motorcycle. So, going to be a good person to have give this a test. He also puts more than a thousand miles on every month easily. Uh, he's an actual rider. So, he's going to be able to give full ride review. He's going to tell you whether he loves it, hates it, whether to buy it or not. And uh, for that, I thank him. Um, he said that he would gladly take a look at this for me uh, and give me an honest review, if not in video form, uh, at least to my face. So uh, to you, you know who you are. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, that being said, this is going out tomorrow to you. Um, everybody else, uh, this is available at tacticalpineapple.com only for right now. Uh, in the near future, it may be available as well at Desert Concealment and Design's website, which is not currently up. Uh, he's working on that. So once it's up, we may switch the ordering process over there just to make things a little bit easier. But we have got things covered. It is soft release. Please bear with us as we work through the initial details. Um, it is not on his side. These are going to take probably upwards of two weeks to ship. Um, he is getting his lead times down. He has one person doing these holsters for us. Um, depends on how many y'all order in the first week. It depends on how long it's gonna take to get to you. They are 100% custom made to order per the gun, per the specifications for your particular firearm, so we can guarantee you're getting the best retention possible. That being said, this has been Tactical Pineapple's Garage. This is the all new Pineapple Express holster, and you are not gonna wanna miss what's coming up. <laughs>